everyone, I am going to be reviewing Madagascar 3, Europe's Most Wanted. Now, I know I did How to Train Your Dragon earlier today, and it's like 7.48pm now in my country. Um, and I started to watch Madagascar 3, Europe's Most Wanted earlier today. Um, so, I thought to review it, well, I was already going to review it, but, uh, yeah. It's directed by Eric Darnell, Conrad Venon, and Tom McGrath, produced by Mariel Sorin and Mark Swift. Uh, screenplays by Eric Darnell and Noah Bombeck, starring Ben Stiller, Chris Rocks, David Schwimmer, Jada Pinkett Smith, Sasha Baron Cohen, Cedric the Entertainer, Andy Richer, Tom McGrath, Jessica Chastain, Brian Cranston, Martin Short, Francis McDormand. Music is by Hans Zimmer, edited by uh, Nick Fletcher. Production company is DreamWorks Animation and Pacific Data Images and distributed by Paramount Pictures. A release date was in May, May 18th, 2012 in Kansas Film Festival and June 8th, uh, 2012 in the United States. This movie runs for 95 minutes. The budget for this movie got $145 million, and it got seven, $746.9 million. The plot. Following the events of the previous film, the Penguins, the penguins Skipper Qua, Kwasowski or something like that, Rico and Private, and the chimpanzees, uh, Mason and Phil, leave Africa for Monte Carlo in their modified airplane. When they do not... Return, Alex Align convinces his friends Marty the Zebra, Melman the Giraffe, and Gloria the Hippopotamus that they should go and find them and return to their home at Central Park Zoo. With the Lima, with the Lima friends from Madagascar, King Julian, Maurice, and Mort, they find the penguins and chimpanzees at Mort Carlo Casino. A chaos ensues and the animals barely escape from animal control. Officer... Chantel Dubus, who is determined to add Alex, Alex's head to the taxidermy collection. When the plane crashes, the animal boards a departing circus train. The circus animals Stefana the sea lion, Gia the jaguar, and Vitaly the lion are suspicious of outsiders, so Alex lies by claiming that they are an American circus animals. The circus is headed for a, p a performance in Rome, followed by one in London, where they hope to impress the American promoter in order to get their first American tour. To ally suspicion, the Penguins purchase a circus uh, from its home ringmaster, Jun Rome. Alex becomes enamored with Gia while King Julian falls in love with performing bear Sonia. Debus and her men purse Julian and Sonia, but fail to catch them and are arrested. The performance in Rome is a disaster. The animals' acts go a weary, and they are chased off by the angry audience. Stefano explains to Alex that the circus was once a famous was once famous, and Vitali was its star skillfully jumping through even smaller hoops. However, one day he tried to jump through a tiny flaming hoop and the olive oil he used uh, as lubricant caught on fire. Then the accident caused Vitaly to lose his passion and the entry circus suffered as as a result. Alex convinces the circle uh, circus animals um, to become with a new exciting all animal acts that will restore the former glory. Marty and Stef Stefano find a new passion in being in being shot out of a cannon while Mar Melman and Gloria become adept at dancing together on a tightrope. Gia precedes Alex to teach her uh chimpanz chimpanz or something, Americano, and the other two begin to fall in love. Meanwhile, Debus escapes from, escapes from prison and resumes her pursuit. Uh, so the cast we got, uh, kind of easy. 
Ben Slurt as Alex Align, Chris Rock as Marty, David Schwimmer as Melman, Jacob Pink, J Jada Pinkett Smith as Gloria, <laughs> Sasha Baron Cohen as King Julian, uh, Cedric the Entertainer as Maurice, Andy Richard as Mort, uh, Tom McGrath as Skipper, Franz McDonald as Captain Chantel de Bruce. How is that? Is that actually a girl? Oh, yeah, it is. Jessica Chastain as Gia. Martin Short as Stefano. Is that actually who I think it is? Okay, never mind. Uh, Brian Cranston as Vitale. Wow. Just like. It's like. I actually had no idea. Chris Miller as Krasowski. Christopher Knight as. Um. Production DreamWorks Animation CEO Jeffrey Kansberg confirmed in 2008 that there would be an additional sequel. Madagascar and Madagascar escaped to Africa. Katzberg stated, "There is one more. There, are, there is at least one more chapter. We ultimately want to see the characters make it back to New York." At the Television Critics Association press tour in January 2009 and 2010, Katzberg revealed in an email that writer uh, director Noah Baumbach has done 60 pages of rewrite to the screenplay. A significant amount of the animation and visual effects for the film had been done at DreamWorks' dedicated unit and India based at Techn Technicolor uh, release. Madagascar 3, Europe's Most Wanted, opened in Kansas Film Festival on May 18th, 2012. The American followed on June 8th, 2012. The film was also converted to IMAX format and shown in specific European territories, including Russia, Ukraine, and Poland. Uh, reception. Madagascar 3 uh, Most Wanted earned $216 million, uh, $1, sorry, $216,000 in North America and 530000 in other countries for a worldwide total, worldwide total of 7 Hundred seventy. Can't even speak. Seven hundred and forty six thousand dollars in worldwide opening weekend totaled one hundred one hundred thirty seven point six million dollars worldwide. It is the highest grossing film in the series, the fourth highest grossing movie in DreamWorks, um, the second highest grossing. Animation movie of 2012 and the eighth highest grossing film of that year. Overall, it is the 11th highest grossing animated film and the 52nd highest grossing film of all time. The film took between 66 and 94 days of a release, uh, respectively, to go out gross, and two best four is surpassed uh, Kung, Fu, Kung Fu Panda 2 to become DreamWorks' highest grossing non-Shrek film and the first non-Shrek film to reach over $700 million. Uh, my thoughts of Madagascar 3, um... <sighs> I thought this movie could have been better. Um, this movie was not my favourite in the franchise. I think it should have had a bit more work on. Um, I think it was not my kind of movie that I would watch, but I had to. Uh, would I watch it again? I don't know, probably. Uh, but not, like, constantly, like, on and on and on and on. I'll just watch it, like, for example, one in a month. Wait, another two months. Then another watch. Wait, another two months. Another watch. Like, wouldn't just go one day watch, two day watch, three day watch, four day watch. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Um, but this movie, I did have some expectations of what I wanted for this movie. I mean, the villain of uh, the villain in this movie could have been a bit better, but I would work with it. Um, the acting skills of is still good. Uh, the story to this movie could have been a bit better for me. Um, but I do think this movie is an okay movie. It's not the best. It's not the worst. It's just okay. Um, I think for my score for this movie, I would probably give it like stars. 
um, like a 2.5 out of 5 stars. Um, Gray, oh sorry, percentage, I'll give it like a, I might know, like a 54%. Grade, I'll give it like a C plus, yeah. S sorry C minus, out of 10, I'll give it a 5.4 out of 10. Thank you for listening to my review of Madagascar, uh, Europe's most, uh, Madagascar 3, Europe's most wanted. Hope you enjoyed, please subscribe to my channel, and before we end, we're going to do a wheel, uh, to see what movie we're going to do next. So I have my computer right here. I'm gonna roll. Yeah, I can't even. There we go. The Road to El Diablo. Yeah, that movie. We're gonna review that tomorrow. And we're gonna review another one, which is gonna be. Kung Fu Panda 3. There you go. Karota Al Diablo. Al Diablo or something named Kung Fu Panda 3. I'm um, sorry I couldn't do class to review. Um, I'll do that tomorrow. And yes, thank you for watching. Take care and peace.